I'm going to save the best for last. Ladies and gentlemen, in the very last section of the Ellis County Emergency Operations Plan documents, cables, if you will, <laughs> not really cables, uh, these documents that I received after uh, filing an open records request, Ellis County uh, did not want to release them, but the Attorney General's office ruled that they had to release them. Well, interestingly, did you know that under a legal disaster declaration from the county government that there are price controls that our county government can institute? Check this out. A person shall not sell any of the following goods or services for more than the price the person charged for the goods and services on the date of disaster declaration. It goes in the list, the groceries, beverages, okay, electrical and gas generating machines, charcoal, automotive parts, plumbing, blah, 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 blankets, furniture, medicine, restaurant stuff, okay, uh, you know, move, uh, hotel, motel rentals, okay, this is the legal provisions for a disaster declaration that includes four county commissioners and the county judge voting to declare an emergency in Ellis County for whatever reason uh, pick your calamity uh, price controls on the date of declaration Ellis County government can institute provisions these price controls right here right they list them A through N on goods and toiletries and food and everything people if you're watching this and you haven't started stocking up on stuff like food and water you really need to start doing it right now you need to do it as soon as possible uh, because there will be people out there in stores and things like that that will be just gouging people but supply and demand you know if I've got a store and it only has 17 generators and I've got 3,000 people only coming to that store to buy my you know thousand dollar generators why shouldn't I charge two thousand three thousand dollars for one okay but under this emergency management here this uh, emergency operations plan uh, on a county declaration of disaster they can institute price controls how about that now, this is another cool part. I say cool because it's cool that I'm uncovering this. This is probably why they didn't want me to have it. Um, suspension and modification of ordinances. Okay. All right. Now, check this out. Emergency powers of the mayor. Now, this is probably why they didn't want me to be mayor. It basically says that in an emergency the mayor of a city can exercise similar powers on a local scale as that of the governor of Texas in the disaster act under the Texas disaster act let me let me put I'm going to put my camera on there so that you guys back watching this can read this Mayors have similar powers to that of the governor during an emergency. Can you imagine a guy with a constitutional background being a mayor and something were to happen? Your city would be under the control of one person, basically, in an emergency. Wildfires could be an emergency. Tornadoes could be an emergency. Flooding can be an emergency. Terrorism acts can be. Once a state of disaster is declared, a city may enact an emergency ordinance describing the specific emergency regulations that are to be put into effect during the disaster. I.e., if we create an emergency, we can declare it 
and the mayor would assume all powers and duties as if he were the governor of Texas. Guys, you don't... People in their cities and towns that don't know who the mayor is, well, you need to know who your mayor is for reasons just like this. Because when it happens, when something happens out there, and people are like, what's going on? What do we do? Oh, I don't know. I've never been paying attention. Well, you're going to be in a sorry state of stupidity because you should have been paying attention. This is one one of the ways that I'm trying to get my readers, viewers, listeners to ready themselves 